Welcome back. Today we're going to carry on with our Project Zomboid run. Uh, we're in this house at the moment. Not a particularly safe house. Um, box of 9 mil rounds. Pretty good. Uh, it's got a scope. No round and chamber, but does have a magazine. So we'll take that magazine. Um, we'll go ahead and... Uh, this is our pistol. This is the magazine. Uh, we'll go ahead and just pop this in our bag so we've got another one. Uh, we can drop this on the floor. Got our axe not equipped, so let's equip our axe. And it is getting pretty late. Let's have a quick look in here as well. Never know when you might find a uh, a briefcase. No, um, it's not quite what I wanted, but sure. There's a alarm clock in here as well. I don't think there's a particularly safe room in this house. Uh, it might be this one, actually. Oh, there's a zombie outside. <laughs> there's a zombie outside. Let's go ahead and kill it. They just keep coming. Uh, this one had a nightstick embedded in him. Go ahead and check that watch. Looks like it's fine. Pop the watch away. Okay, well, we do need to go to sleep. In an ideal situation, it wouldn't be in this house, but what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing we did in the other house. Try and get a plank. And we're going to go ahead and pop that plank on this window. Uh, then we can close the curtains, and then we've got a reasonably safe room to be in. Uh, I, will check, I will check and see if there's a bookshelf in here. Go ahead and pop these in our bag. Looks like there is a little bookshelf uh, with two books, so we'll go ahead and read those. That'll pass a bit of time. Just check the kitchen again. I would like to take the bowls. I think they're quite useful. Probably nothing in the fridge. Don't know if I checked this already. Uh, this one, a dead mouse. Fantastic. Uh, we do have some uh, water we can drink, though. And we can fill up our water bottle. Looks like there's soap and some random cleaning liquid. Oh, we could take the soap, actually. Soap is always useful if we want to clean ourselves. I suppose we could clean ourselves. Nah, we won't bother for now. Okay, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll just sit on the floor. Because we can't sit on the bed yet without a mod, a mod. And we're playing unmodded in this run. And we'll go ahead and read our two books. Which should give us a little bit of happiness. And I guess pass the time. Maybe we should have done that the other way around. Uh, we do have some food we can eat. Probably wait till tomorrow. Have a quick look at our weight, 79, so it seems good. Let's go ahead and sleep. Hopefully it doesn't rain tomorrow. Perfect sleep. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and eat something here. Uh, we'll eat the crackers. Uh, maybe we'll open the canned potatoes and the canned corn. There we go. Uh, we should be able to make that into some sort of salad with our bowl. Yeah, there we go. Let's create a random... We should be able to make two. Canned corn salad. Let's add uh, random potatoes. And... Uh, okay, so this one we'll add... Oh, we've got tomato paste as well. So we can actually make something pretty good. Tomato paste is spice. And we can make this one with tomato paste. Pretty good. Let's go ahead and eat those. Drop this on the floor. Wait, should be pretty good. It's still raining, unfortunately. It's still dark. Go ahead and pop out the front door. Seems surprisingly clear. No zombies by the car. Basically, just continue on. We need to um, clean up, as they say.
huge dramatic music shift there. Uh, I guess it's because of these ones. I was like, well, where are the zombies? Oh, there they are. I love how they stumble until they're pretty close to you and then they uh, kind of do like a little last ditch, a last ditch charge at you. Axe conditions probably getting pretty bad now. Yeah, pretty low on that. We've almost cleared up to the police station though. A couple of zombies down here. Probably attracted most of the town with us, so I'm hoping the rest of the town's going to be pretty clear once we've uh, once we got rid of these ones. Uh, swing and a miss. What are you doing? <laughs> Completely missed those swings. Looks like we've got another one there. There's just so many up here. Look at this. Look at this. Bored. We can do it. I have zero confidence in my ability to do this today. Uh, it's, confidence is pretty low. I seem to be just hitting the floor and uh, swinging and missing. It's probably due to the rain. Uh, we are overloaded as well, so you we might need to go and drop some things in the car. Quick scout behind us. Beard man. I wonder if zombies can grow beards. I mean, you keep growing hair after you die, right? Or is it that your body shrinks? So it looks like your hair's growing. Uh, we need to take a quick look at our inventory here. Maybe drop the bowl away. Maybe just eat this other salad straight away. Uh, I feel like it's heavy, 1.46. Uh, let's pop that in our bag. What's that give us? 14 out of 16. So it's 14.07, so it's actually still over-encumbered when we lose our food buff. That's some pretty sick guitar music now. I'm enjoying this. Okay, music to kill zombies too. Music to slaughter zombies too. Now, one of these had a, a something embedded. It did look like a bread knife. Yeah, it was a bread knife. Shame. And now the music fades off. Uh, we have lost our weight buff there. Uh, I'm gonna... Not really too sure because we need the weapons because our axe is gonna die. We finally made it back to the police station though. <laughs> after we abandoned it that time. I think I might try and get to the... Oh, there's so many in there. Look at them. Look at them all. <laughs> I'd really like to try and get to the hardware store so we can get another axe. Um, we're just going to have to kind of walk over and pull them one at a time. They're going to pile out this window. Going to get a bit more dramatic here in a second. Don't worry. Um, what are we on now? Two months, seven days survived. 108, uh, 1,800 zombies killed. Getting pretty close to that 2,000 mark. And another one. Hello. Meet Mr. Axe. Uh, I don't know what we can do about our weight situation. Don't want to put the water away. Don't want to put the hunting knife away. Oh, we have, we have the extra pistol. That's why. Uh, M9 magazine. I thought we ejected that. Uh, okay, let's just drop that then. Fine. Uh, that's why we're overweight. We're not normally overweight. I have this calculated near perfect so that we can carry like two, which is a bit of food. Okay, let's go ahead and walk up here. There's zombies everywhere, but this is what we're doing today. We're going to pile out the windows, the doors, everywhere. There's a spear on that one. Run. <laughs> Occasionally I have to tell myself to run. It's not for your benefit, that's just for mine. Oh god, it's one of these. Okay, so I think if we press shift and swing... Yeah, there we go. So I forgot how to do that. Basically, if I hold right-click and swing, we just swing. If I hold shift, uh, I think we... Uh, maybe we don't. I thought it was... I think if you're near a zombie, you can shift and swing at the floor. 
Uh, we are overexerted now. 9.40 in the morning. We have killed quite a few zombies. It's one of the uh, unfortunate side effects of being unfit. I mean, the game gets a lot better for us once we get rid of out of shape. I'm absolutely loving this guitar music, though. So it's going to wear off because we're going back to the house, but... It's uh, pretty cool. Uh, check that bedroom door shut, yeah. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, just rest on the chair for a little bit. Should get rid of our debuff. We are really wet, though. I don't want to risk getting drenched because um, what's going to happen is... <laughs> yeah, over here and then over here. Leapfrog time. Um, we have the potential of, of getting sick from a cold. And if you, if you get sick, basically you start sneezing. And you go through a couple of phases. First you sneeze a little bit and then you sneeze a lot. And then you're just sneezing constantly and then it kind of fades off. But that's not particularly fun. Um, you, you basically just make a lot of noise all the time. I couldn't do something like this. Like walking through town, you're just going to make a lot of noise. I uh, would like to pick up the white cowboy hat. If I can. On the floor. Looks like it's good condition. Might be good for the summer. Black and white. Don't really want to wear a, a, white, uh, a black hat in the summer. So many zombies killed here. But there's still one at the door. Pretty sure we can't set the alarm off twice. So, pretty fine with that. Go ahead and check on the inside. I think they were just all attracted here, so... There's a couple of groups there still. Let's go ahead and check around the back. Look, there's one around the back. Alleyway seems like a bit of a death trap. Uh, I think we've cleared it quite nicely, though. That door's locked. Another zombie out the front. Did you come? Did you come from inside? Okay, looks pretty clear on the inside now. Just want to check down this alleyway. There's a couple of trees here, so it's kind of blocking my path. Looks pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and check the inside of the police station then. Don't think we've got a key. Might be a key on this desk. Matches. Uh, holster. Oh, a water canister. That's good. Let's go ahead and fill up our water bottle. Take a bit of a drink here. Staples. Yeah. Toilet. And guns. Ammo. Pretty good. Uh, we'll collect those on the way back. Uh, maybe we'll take them now, actually. Uh, let's take the shotgun shells. We'll just take the ammo, basically. Um, we can take the M9. I can hear a zombie moving around in the rain. That's terrifying. Uh, I do want to take this magazine as well. Uh, these two do have magazines in, so I'll take the two pistols, too. Uh, the shotgun, I'm just going to leave. Oh, it's got a sling. I am going to take the shotgun. Shotgun sling, I think, reduces its carry weight, and we don't have one of those. We are over-encumbered now. Could hear zombies moving around outside. Probably along that wall somewhere. Let's go ahead and drop these back at the car. More zombies down by the medical center. Might have to spend yet another night in this house. We can go ahead and bring the car up a little bit, though. I like this kind of leapfrog method of gameplay. Um, I think it's really effective. You kind of... Uh, if you can stop in a place where there aren't many zombies and kill the ones that were following the car, and then leave the car as a kind of a secure place, and then just keep kind of leapfrogging forward, you put yourself in a good position. Yeah, we're overloaded on here. This is a real problem, actually. We've only really got what we can put in here. Uh, we'll drop off the cowboy hat. 
Uh, we've got two bo uh, three boxes of pistol rounds now. Um, some of these were empty. So I don't want to be carrying the empty uh, magazines around just in case we put them in by accident. And of course the shotgun s shells. Uh, the two Mari um, Mariana sources still can't say that word. We do have the other axe. Okay, let's go ahead and pull forward. Check our weight. Uh, 12, that seems good. Go ahead and pull forward to like here. That big group is still there though. That's a lot of zombies. It really is a lot of zombies. Let's see if we can pull a couple of them. I think I did already. Yeah. You can always tell because the music just shifts tempo brilliantly. I think they did a really good job of that. And they, um, it wasn't always like that. I think they, they patched that recently. And they kind of made the tempo shift really nicely, like blend in with the music. Let's check our axe condition. Looks pretty good still. I mean, it's in terrible condition, but it hasn't decreased much more. I think every swing it has a chance to, to drop out. Like, you can just kill it in the first couple of swings if you're not careful. Do you need to clear these ones out? It's like we've pulled another couple. I'm going to be really careful with this group because if I pull the whole horde, my car's here as well, so it's going to be a real problem. Looks like there's another sneaky one. Another sneaker. Look at them just sneaking behind me. No, you will not bite me. Okay. Probably going to start to get tired pretty soon. We didn't bring any vitamins. Pulled a big bunch of them there. Need to walk way back. I'm going to go ahead and eat this uh, meat stick. Okay, swing around now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven's a lot. Hopefully some of them get caught on the car. Or maybe we can use this. This seems like a bad idea because I'm going to get stuck in here, but maybe some of them will get tripped over the fence. We can split them up, maybe. Yeah, they get caught on the fence a little bit. That's good. Maybe that made it worse, I'm not sure. I'm going to run. <laughs> I'm not sure if that made it better or worse. Okay. Go on. More one-shots, please. Yes. Okay. This axe is putting in so much work. So much work. Check on our axe skill, actually. We did level it up, didn't we? Uh, we're a long way away from level 7, but... So many kills, this axe. I wish it told you... Um, uh, I wonder if there's a mod for, like, weapon stats. That would be really cool. It'd be, like, stats attached to a weapon. How many kills did this weapon get? So it's looking much better up here. Are you zombies? Not sure about this one. Are you actually dead? Looks like you are actually dead. Boots locked. Pulled a few more from there. Be careful not to overexert here. They're wet. We are hot as well. Okay. We're nearly at the farming and rural supplies. We've nearly, we've nearly made it. We may need to take a break. Let's try and kill these and see if it exerts us. If it does, we'll take a break. I thought you had a knife in you. Oh, you had scissors. Okay, looking good. I've nearly made it. Um, I don't want to go in here first. I think I'm pretty set on going to the tool shop first. I don't know how viable that is, but 
I guess a farming and rural supply shop might have an axe as well. Quite sure what the best sitch, uh, thing is there. I'm gonna go ahead and open this door. Can't see any zombies inside. Whoa! Okay then. So uh, all the zombies are hanging out over there. Might not be the best idea to go in there with a big horde. I suppose we could run in and get out this door. I'm really tempted to go inside. I'm gonna go inside. We'll shut this door. And I just wanna check these shelves. I wanna see if there's an ax. Seeds, seeds. Garden saw. Gravel, gravel. So much gravel. Fertilizer, gravel. I need an axe. I mean, I didn't really expect there to be an axe here. I thought it would be more like there's a shovel. We can use that as a weapon in a pinch. Garden saw, trowel, and fork. Okay, reasonably safe in here. Empty bucket, uh, tent kit. Don't know what these are on the floor. They are pink, uh, forbidden marshmallows? Not sure what that is at all. Forbidden marshmallows. A padded jacket, that would be pretty good for winter. Another duffel bag. Overalls, school bag for some reason. Most of this seems empty. Okay, not particularly useful stuff in here. It does, doesn't hurt to take a break from the killing. Can hear a few zombies now. Go ahead and check here. Hole puncher, word search magazine. Okay, looks like some of the cool stuff is locked off behind here. How do we get in there, though? Locked. Okay. so many zombies. Trowel, watering can, fire extinguisher, bleach. Okay, I can hear quite a lot of banging, so we'll just leave. Looks like they must be round the back. We'll poke our heads in here quickly. Pretty empty in here. Some more rope, sack, trowel, fertilizer. Just want to check this this cupboard. Tire. Okay. Again, not quite what we need. We could swap over to our other axe, I suppose. Let's go ahead and kill these ones behind. Looks like there's quite a few actually. check to see if any came in here. Yeah, that looks like they, they came through here, so we'll go ahead and take those ones out. I don't want them coming up behind me. Might be worth trying to lure one of them into the shop. I think if they die within the shop, they drop their keys. Well, they can drop the keys to the shop. You're just the liar, you are. Liar on the floor. Okay. 15.30, kind of running out of time. Axe is nearly gone. Let's go ahead and see if we can't kill just a few more. Hunting Magazine Volume 3, that's pretty cool. It's a magazine we haven't read yet. So there's the big horde there, and then there's a couple here we can kind of just take out and clear on their own. One down here that I did see that's just wandered off immediately. There's a tool shed here. Quite sure what this shop is. 
There's a shop. Maybe this is another supermarket, actually. Oh, my God. Okay. Nope. Uh, let's run. <laughs> okay, we'll run to the corner. They'll follow us round. Uh, there's another horde there. Okay, we're going to run up here. Hopefully the rain dampens our movement a little bit. That was that was uh, unexpected. Okay, we need to be careful here. We're a little bit overexerted. There's zombies coming from that direction. These ones are going to attack us, but that's fine. This is where you have to clear in kind of a direction, so you've got somewhere to run, basically, when the zombies are coming. I can't back away into more zombies. I just end up going in a circle. I mean, you saw you saw what happened when we used the shotgun. Um... We, we kind of just got swamped and we had to keep like doing these little tight circles you can't do that with an axe because you have to get so close well you can but it requires much more skill than I've got I think I'd need a lot more practice I prefer having a a nice clear way to run behind me we are overexerted now so I'm going to walk back to the house I think yeah that'll be, that'll be all the killing we can do for today uh, we'll kill these two that are going to trigger on us Nice. Very nice. Really low durability now. That could break at any moment, to be honest. Uh, I don't think that one's... That one's never been repaired, though, so we're going to save that until we... Uh, if we find some wood glue. We'll head back down to the house. And then we'll just walk up in the morning. We're not hungry. And we do have canned fruit cocktail to eat tomorrow. And a granola bar. So we should be good on that front. Had to do a little bit of jogging there. Things got exciting at one moment. Hit the floor a few times. Uh, we've got school bag here. Let's try and kill him. Which fence are you going over, sir? This one? Okay, sure. Already read the engineering magazine. Group of five there. Go ahead and pop back in our kind of safe house. We'll just do a little loop around it. Need to make sure. Yeah, we're tired as well now, so no more fighting for today. Uh, looks like there's one zombie in the back garden. We will have to kill that one. Oh, there's two. Oh, my God. Okay, let's try and pull them up here. I don't want to pull this group as well. Three. Three. <laughs> One turns into two, turns into more. I get a headshot there. Okay. I'm, I'm going to pretend I didn't see that group and go into the house. Is this window still open? Oh, this isn't our house. Is it? Is this the safe house? I need to I need to check the map quickly. Oh, we've gone past our safe house. That's why. <laughs> it's the next one up. Okay, so we cleared behind the house. That's pretty good. I didn't want to stay in this house. Let's get in this next one. The one with the board on the window. That's what, that's what we need to remember. room did we stay in then? I'm sure I put a board on one of the windows. Maybe we stayed on that side. I don't know. I'm going to stay in this house anyway. We did mark these two as semi-safe, so I know I've cleared them. I think it's this one. Yeah, this one. We, we stayed in the cupboard before. Uh, maybe the board's been taken off then. Ah, uh, no, the board's on this window. Okay, so there's no board on that window. That's fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and sit on the, sit on the floor here. Um, we kind of need to skip time. Let's go ahead and open our fruit cocktails. Getting drowsy again. Go ahead and open our canned fruit cocktail again. Should be able to clear the rest of this tomorrow. I'm pretty confident. Um, I guess we could dismantle the watches. Flashlight's got loads of battery. Oh, we can read our hunting magazine. Maybe swap to the other axe. 
Uh, maybe equip the hand axe as a backup, to be honest. Hmm, I'll think about that one. So this one teaches us to make a trap box and a cage trap. And we've got fruit cocktail. Um, I guess, do we have any other food? We have the granola bar for tomorrow. Tomato paste gonna give us unhappiness. Not many calories in it, so probably not worth it. Go ahead and just eat one of the cocktails. And then I guess skip time for a while. Gonna have to wait till at least 10. Probably 10.30. I mean, really, it should be 11. There we go. We'll go to sleep now. It should give us 8 hours sleep till 7. We've got fruit cocktail for breakfast. There goes the alarm. Need the fruit cocktail. We've got the granola bar as a backup, and then we will need to find some more food. Drop those on the floor. Get the house. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab the last bit of water out of here if we can. Drink 15 water, 15 units left. Fill up our water bottle. Okay. And back outside. What a lovely day. And it's not raining. That's good news for us. So axe condition is absolutely critical. We do have the pistol for absolute emergencies, but having done all this work to I mean I've cleared a lot of zombies here now. We are 1,879 kills. Two months and eight days survived. That's a fresh kill of the day. Um, probably can bring the car up a little bit more. Oh no, there's the massive horde there. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna ignore that one. They are going to roam a little bit, but I'll just ignore those ones. Let's go up here. Okay. I really would like to try and get to the um, the tool shop and get another axe. I'm going to be a lot more confident about clearing these zombies out. I'm just terrified that we're going to run out of axes and we'll not be able to get there. I guess we have other weapons, but... It's got a crowbar in him, I think. I think a little bit aggressive here. Just a little bit. Probably going to get them jump back through the window. Oh god, oh god, I got staggered. Swiped on. It's a little bit too aggressive there. I'm going to open this door for this zombie. There's loads of them crawling inside here now. I can't believe we went in there yesterday. And now, I guess I did leave the door open. One there, one there. Let's try looking at the other door. I guess we could go in and... It's probably pretty risky. We pop out this door. And then kill this one. Nice, okay. That's pretty good. Not the worst thing I've ever done. There's a big group there. Check the map quickly. Yeah, we're trying to get here, so we need to get up and round. Maybe we can go around the back instead of around the front. Really, really don't want to walk through there. I'm going to go around. Seems like longer. Is longer. Probably safer. Seems nice and quiet around here. Maybe we've killed them all. <laughs> uh, we'll check the beat of this car. Uh, empty, empty pop cans. Hoping, hoping for some food. 
think this one was locked. Yeah, locked. One here, two here, three here. Axe is probably on its last couple of hits now. Group there, group there. Let's keep moving up. Slow and steady. Kill the zombies. Probably going to attract some from the other side of the fence by doing this. As I said before, they do... Because I'm here, and they might hear me here, they'll path all the way around. brown hat there. Okay, Stetson. I don't think it is a Stetson, but... More hordes. No, they really don't want me to get to the tool shop, do they? There's the tool shop. We can actually see it. <laughs> we can see it. It's so close. Just a few packs between us and Salvation. Might have been a machete in that one. Ah, oh, there's the axe breaking. Red knife. Okay, so our axe broke. Let's go ahead and just keep moving while we're doing this. We do have the backup axe. Just check down there. No zombies have come over the fence yet. Okay, so we're on backups. We're on backup axe now. I'd like to clear this group first if I can. Just kind of drag them around the corner. Check behind again. Give this one the boot, I think. Only because we're running out of axes. <laughs> We do have backup weapons, like, we're not completely screwed if the axe breaks. Got the machete. It's a pretty powerful tool. One more. Okay. We're so close. So close. I think I am going to clear this pack, though. Uh, we'll check the boot of this car. Locked. I wonder if I can just pull a couple. Uh, we're going to need to eat something soon as well. Let's go ahead and eat our last remaining granola bar. We do have backup food in the car. Give me strength, granola bar. Give me the strength I need to get more axes. Of course, if, if there's no axes in there, it's going to be a real bust. Um, we'll just have to make, we'll hightail with the farming supplies and get out of here. Uh, three, no. The problem is if you get a couple like that, they're going to grab you and just drag you. Miss, 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 miss. That's bad. Okay, we're going to have to travel a bit further down here than I'd like. We can do this. Oh, we're exerted, that's why. Well, no choice but to kill them. Stamp on that one. Okay, we did it. We did it. We cleared the group. Ah, oh, okay. Louisville map. Various other junk. What was that one? A oh, letter opener. Let's check our axe condition. Very low. No surprises there. Looks like we've attracted a few from the front as well. A few from the back. They're all just popping over here for whatever reason. I forgot that we're exerted. Damn. 
need to try and get some one hits on these. Oh, and they keep coming. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So they can't climb over these fences, so the very safest place I can be right now is in this corner. <laughs> That's it. That's all we can do. <laughs> we can sit here and wait. Oh dear. Okay, so we've got water, so we're fine there. We've got our first aid kit. Did we put any um, uh, vitamins? Doesn't look like we have any um, vitamins in there. Uh, we just kind of need to wait, wait for our exerted to go away. Um, we're probably going to have to wait an hour here. Just to let that rest off. 1,933 kills now. Maintenance level 3. Most recent acquisition. We do have the gun, I suppose, as an absolute final last stand. Uh, axe is progressing nicely and nimble. 82, so over, half over halfway now. Okay, it is 11. And there's two more popped up here, so we'll kill those and we'll see if we can't get into the tool shop. Just killing a lot of zombies. Go ahead and walk over here. Maybe we'll try and get in from that side. Just want to check down this little pathway here. There's zombies hiding in the corner. I wonder if it's open. No, it's locked there. Okay. Look, it's pretty woody over here. The group that we've attracted, so we're just going to walk back and fight them in the open. This pack seems to be migrating again, so we might have to kill those. Come here, the little zombies. There we go. Okay. Oh, we're going to have to kill this pack. I don't feel safe. That's fine. That's, that is fine. Let's try and pull them. Let's try and pull a couple of them. I think we pulled this one? Yeah, we did pull one. we haven't pulled more from that group. Go ahead and walk back this way. So many there. Okay, we pulled a lot there. You can see the, the shift in music tempo again. Oh. Okay, well, this is a bit of a problem. This is a bit of a problem. I don't know why there are so many hordes here. Uh, we're going to have to... Yeah, wait for the panic to wear off slightly. See what we can do here. Look at that. Absolute beast of a character. It's like, nope, I want more axes. Another hunting knife, we'll take it. random junk that I can't use. Probably should be checking the corpses more, but let's go ahead and pull these then. One from behind as well. Okay, we got this, we got this. When it counted, she really swung that axe. knife. Okay. We're doing good. We are going to get hungry again soon, though. No real food to be found on zombies. I guess they eat it all.
Oh, there goes the axe. Uh, backup weapon, nightstick. There we go. That's why we have the backup weapons equipped on hot slots. Just for that situation. Doesn't happen very often, but it is just for that situation. Okay, we're on backup weapon now. Both axes broken. I'm going to clear the rest of this group out. And I think that was the horde that was in front, so done pretty good. You have to be pretty careful now because we're on <laughs> uh, we're on a nightstick basically we're back to uh, short blunt of which we have very little skill uh, this weapon can one shot it's unlikely to I think it criticals but you see how weaker it is much much weaker it is uh, we are also exerted as well God damn it. We can get this one. There we go. It's a little bit easier now, just the two. And we'll boot. Okay. Well, that's a lot of zombies. There's a lot of zombies dead. And it's nice and quiet. Okay, there's just one there. Then we might go back to our spot for an hour. We're just going to sit in the corner. Just going to sit in the corner and think about what we've done. Sit on ground. So we'll wait till 2 o'clock before we start beating again. Just going to check I've got no more food. Got the tomato paste. It's going to make us really unhappy if we eat that, isn't it? Going to do it anyway. Uh, we could try the machete, actually. It's probably better than the nightstick. I'm going to um, equip that. I was under the impression you couldn't attach the machete to the belt. Oh, you can. yeah, you can't. You can only attach it to your back, and then it takes off your backpack, I think. Uh, we can test that, I suppose. Equip to back. And then, oh no, we, okay, so we can have the machete on our backpack as well as that. That's pretty cool. Um, definitely going to do that then. Oh, I was meant to be waiting. <laughs> uh, let's wait another, um, yeah. Put it on, um, let's get out one. Yeah. Twenty more minutes. What's our short blunt skill doing? Pretty low still. We've got a short blade we're about to use now. On oh, the machete might be long blade actually. Find out. If it's long blade, it's really good because that will enable us to train for a katana, which is probably the best weapon in the game. Um, not very good at chopping trees down, but very very effective at killing zombies. I think it has the highest highest damage or something. Just they're pretty rare. So we had 0.77. Uh, yeah, this is uh, long blade XP. Uh, we should definitely be making use of the machete more then, because we're getting up to three months, and we'll be able to use a katana soon. If we find one. EP tools, hello. Another bread knife. Oh, hello. Let's see you. Check behind. See, when we started in Rosewood, it was a little bit easier, right? Because not all of the zombies had spawned. And worse than that, now all the zombies have spawned, so wherever we go, it's maximum capacity zombies. Uh, no, will, no more will ever spawn, um, but the zombies that are there, they've been spawning for quite a few days and formed packs and started roaming. And then we set off the police alarm, so pretty much every zombie in the neighborhood is down in this area. So that's if it seems like there's a lot, that's because there is. Um, we set off that house alarm and just dragged them all here. Looks nice and empty inside. A little bit of a group here. 
need to remember that I don't have an axe. It is a machete, so we're not that effective with it. Can't just one-shot them like we did before. It does tend to critical quite a bit. It does do a good job. I think it loses durability quite a lot faster, though. Looks like there's one more coming. Let's just check on its durability. Yeah, we have lost a few units already. Just waiting for this one to come around the corner. We should be able to get inside now. Pretty confident we can get inside. Door's locked. Let's go ahead and remove this broken glass. And jump on in. We did it. We're at the tool shop. Go ahead and open the door. And let's clear this up. Looks like there's a concrete mixer. like these floodlights. It'd be really nice to take the floodlights. Storage room. I guess this is the back door. We'll open this door. Just have a peek outside. Still clear. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and shut this one then. So we've got a plank. Great. That's what we came for, right? A plank. Um, well, nothing useful in here then. Concrete powder that we just don't need yet. Like, it would be great to make a driveway, but it's just not essential. Okay, on the shelves, on the shelves, what have we got? Bag of concrete powder, plaster powder, plaster powder, hard hat, nails. Come on game, don't do this to me. Tomato seeds, hammers, garden saws, oh dear. What else you got game? Nothing. Carpentry books, electronics magazine, broom, duct tape. I don't think there's any, there's not even any wood glue in here. Military desert boots. Wow. I think this was a bit of a bust. We came all the way here and all I got was this lousy duct tape. Well, I wouldn't recommend shopping here, guys. I'll take the box of nails. <laughs> and that's it. We'll just take the box of nails. That's what we came for. Plaster powder. Concrete powder. A shovel. We don't need it. Uh, they, they do have these fancy lights, though. Pretty sure we can use these floodlights. Um, but, I, I mean, we're not going to come back for them. We're not going to take them with us now. We'll take the potato seeds, I guess. Wow. The, uh, the disappointment is unreal. There's one box of nails. Uh, two boxes of nails we've picked up. And that's it. Okay, so don't shop here. That's what I can say. Okay. Let's go ahead and... I mean, I guess we can use the machete for now. It'll just have to be the tool we're using. Check the back of this car. Maybe there's an axe. It's fine. We can do the game without more axes. I think the game is the game is like you tried to force getting an axe. So let's uh, breathe deeply and move on. We still have to survive after all. Looks like we're getting tired, so we'll go ahead and kill these zombies. fork. More tools than the shop there, embedded in your leg. So we've got the rural supply shop. Farming and rural supplies. 
There was some good stuff in there. We'll check that out properly in a minute. Uh, it might be tomorrow, actually, after we've rested. We are getting tired. We've also run out of food. We'll have to go and get the, the emergency food out of the car. Oh, hello. Well, we did do it. We, um, we kind of accomplished our mission. We did get here and we did get to the shop. Got some good experience as well. I'm going to beat you down before you can even get up. Kitchen knife, kitchen knife. Okay. We did get some ammo from the police station. We've got the farming and rural supply shop still to loot. But for now, we need to head back to our house. Well, our, like, temporary house, at least. We've got the medical supplies we can take as well. I don't think we need them right now. We've got a lot of medical, medical stuff. I did see a zombie there. I'm not quite sure where it went. Yeah, there it is. Got, like a sixth sense for these things. And back down the road we go. Okay, so tomorrow we'll take the gardening supplies and I don't know if it's worth looting anything else here. We can't actually carry it. That's that's the other big problem. We could go and get the electronics book. I think we might have one already though. Now, which one is our house? It's the one we already passed. Gotta stop doing that. The one we parked the car in front of, remember? So busy killing zombies. Do we get to 2,000 yet? 1,986. Pretty good going. Machete condition, not bad. Quite like the machete as a weapon, it's just a little bit shorter. Um, go ahead and get some food out of the car and we'll sort out our inventory. I don't think there was anything else we wanted to take here. There's a school bag. Now oh, the car's parked all the way over there. Back to the car then. we get better tool? No, we're pretty good. Health good. Health good. Uh, let's pull out this uh, backup bag. Oh no, that's the loot bag. I suppose we can put things in the loot bag. Uh, let's put it in the trunk anyway. Don't need that right now. Uh, we might take this with us actually. We'll carry that. Oh, we can carry this with a machete. That seems great. Um, let's equip this though first. Emergency food, here we go. Canned chilies. Let's take out our emergency food. We do have another hand axe in here as well. Of course we do. Pre planning is everything. Okay, um, and then we have the loot bag. Let's equip that in our secondary. Okay, that shouldn't overload us. Yeah, so we can fill up the loot bag tomorrow. Uh, we can go into the rural supplies, clear, clear any remaining zombies, and then we'll come up with a new plan of what we're going to do next. That has been a bit of an adventure today, though. Killed a lot of zombies. Kind of reclaimed, um, reclaimed the town. Hopefully the rest of the town is quite clear, though, to be honest. Um, I would imagine it is. Most of them probably got pulled to that police station. Should be pretty safe in here. Yeah. So, uh... I have cleared that. Um... Do I want to put an X over it? Pretty sure there's some stuff that we do want. I might just put a marker on it. Cool shop. 
what do we put on the um, other one? Gas station. Uh, let's. I think I prefer the diamond. Diamond's pretty neat. Go ahead and pop that on there. So what was the other shop there then? The other shop. There's two here. This is the bookshop. That's the police station. This is a pharmacy. It's not very good, is it? Put it like that, maybe. This seems like this looks like a commercial unit as well. I think this is food. I think this is food. And then this is the rural supplies, and then this chain of three. Oh no, sorry, this is the tool shop, isn't it? What's this one then? What's yellow? Yellow must be shop or something. Let's go ahead and put a tool shop again. Okay. Getting a little bit late here. Let's go ahead and uh, get some food ready. We'll eat the chili. We've got some potato seeds. Go ahead and eat that. past the time. Ah, oh, what a day. We have uh, killed a lot of zombies, made a lot of progress, and uh, yeah, it's time to get to bed. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.